next layoff of employees. Uh, layoff, this is just a uh, temporary uh, separation from service brought about by suspension of operations or temporary closure or uh, of fulfillment of a military or civic duty. An example of layoff is uh, a security guard who is placed on floating status because uh, uh, the, the uh, um, employer has not found any client where he could be hosted. No. So what is the legal consequence of temporary closure? Consider two points. Determine whether the closure was done in good faith or in bad faith. If the closure was, the temporary closure was done in good faith, the employment status is not terminated, but merely suspended. So uh, if the if employer resumes operations, then the employer must restore or instate the employee to his former position without loss of seniority rights, provided that he expresses his desire to work not later than one month from resumption of operation. And so, if in good faith, employment status is suspended. But if the closure was done in bad faith, the employment relationship is deemed uninterrupted. In short, no uh, suspension. No. So for how long can uh, an uh, employer, employer uh, temporarily close its business? Well, under the law, temporary closure, whether done in good faith or in bad faith, should not exceed six months. Otherwise, permanent closure will ensue and the employment relation will automatically uh, terminate. That is why if a complaint for illegal dismissal is filed, within the six month period of temporary closure, the complaint is uh, premature. Now, suppose the uh, closure exceeds uh, six months, what would be the entitlement of the uh, employees affected? Remember that uh, if the closure uh, exceeds six months, there is automatic termination of employment. So what would be the entitlement of the affected employees? Again, determine whether the uh, uh, temporary closure was done in good faith or in bad faith. If the temporary closure was done in good faith, the affected employees will be entitled to separation pay, of at least one month pay or one half month pay for every year of service, whichever is higher. Unless, of course, the closure was due to serious uh, um, business losses, in which case the employees are not entitled to separation pay anymore. No. But if the temporary closure was done in bad faith, the affected employees are entitled to their wages during the uh, six month period of closure and to separation pay of at least one month pay uh, or one half month pay for every year of service. Now, but notwithstanding the bad faith of the employer, uh, the employer cannot be compelled to continue with the business because that would be oppression. Now, this brings us to the question of the, can the six month 
temporary closure be extended. This is a new rule, which was uh, promulgated during the, this uh, pandemic situation. Under the new rule, in case of declaration of war, pandemic or similar uh, national emergencies, the employer and the employees may agree uh, through their union, if any, or with the assistance of the Department of Labor. They may agree to extend the temporary closure for another six months. So you will notice that the uh, uh, employer has already uh, closed its business for six months. Now, the, uh, here the employer and the employees may agree to extend the closure for another six months. So one year now. What will be the effect if the uh, temporary closure if is extended for another six months? No. Because uh, considering the length of uh, temporary closure, the employees may find employment elsewhere. Now, if the employees were able to find alternative employment during the extended temporary closure, what happens? Are they deemed to have abandoned their employment? The answer is no. Uh, if the employees find alternative employment during the, the temporary, the extended temporary closure, the employment status remains suspended. Uh, to cut off their employment relation, with the old employer, they should uh, resign voluntarily and unequivocally in writing. But suppose the employer during the extended period decides to reduce its personnel. What would be the effect? Well, under that situation, the uh, employees will be entitled to their separation pay as prescribed by the labor code, which is at least one month pay uh, or one half month pay for every year of service. So under that the situation where the six month temporary closure was extended, uh, how do you compute the length of service? Well, under the new rule, the, the uh, first six months of temporary closure uh, will be included in computing the length of service. Even though the, the employees did not render any service during the, that uh, six month period of temporary uh, closure. If the employer resumes operations, the retrenched employees shall have a priority in rehiring. So that is about the layoff.